Hello, favorite seventh graders. Before we get to your title and all that today, I want you to try this first. So somewhere off to the side, um, where you can, I'm going to refer back to this later. Take a look at this question and see what you can do with it before I teach you anything new today. So have at it. And when you are ready, when you've got it solved off to the side, this can just be, like I said, on scratch paper or off to the side or something. Unpause and we'll get ready to go. All right, keep that. But on the next free page in your math notebook, please make this your title. Today, I'm going to teach you two ways to find triangles, exterior angles. Going to do that. Once you've done that, uh, mark that page with your pencil and close that notebook. And we're getting to something very new, exterior angles. Um, so give me all you got. All right, so yesterday we talked about the sum of the angles in a triangle equaling 180 degrees. And back to this problem we've done in the past, um, when we did this the first time, I never asked you to find four or six or two. Now that you know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, um, you could do these. So I think we used the 129 to find angle one. I think it turned out to be 51 degrees, if I'm remembering correctly. And now you could actually use that to find angle two. Uh, based on what we learned yesterday, we learned that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So 51 plus 95 plus whatever angle two is would add up to 180 degrees because that makes a triangle. So you could find that one. Um, and then same thing up here, since we know that, we know this angle is vertical to 95, we know this angle is 95, and then we could use that to find the missing angle of a triangle, because we would know that 95 plus 47 plus whatever 4 was would add up to 180, because they're a triangle. So yesterday we learned the inside angles of a triangle always add up to 180, and we could solve problems like that. Um, so today I want to start talking about exterior angles. Let me show you what those are. So if I draw any triangle, I'll just draw, say, this one. When we talk about the angles of a triangle, you're usually to me talking about this one, this one, <clears throat> and this one. Those are called interior angles. They are inside the triangle. Interior means inside. The interior of a house is the inside of the house. The exterior of a house is the outside of a house. And today I want to start talking about the exterior angles of triangles. <clears throat> Here's where those are. An exterior angle of a triangle would be if you took a side and you extended it past the triangle. This would be an exterior angle and this would be an exterior angle. They're the angles outside of the triangle if you extend the side. Or I could extend a different side. If we extended this side, this would be an exterior angle, and this would be an exterior angle. They're outside the triangle on the extension of the side. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today, is angles like those that are called exterior angles. So the um, you probably did something like this on that introductory problem I had you do. So this is an exterior angle, X, and I'm going to find it. Here, if you worked hard on that initial problem and put some thought into it, here's what I'll bet you did. I'll bet you said to yourself, well, the first thing is I know this angle. I bet I can figure out that blue angle first. Um, I know that the, I'll just call it the blue angle equals what? Um, it, so this is the interior angles of a triangle. So 75 plus 36 plus the missing one should add up to 180 because all three angles in a triangle always add up to 180. Uh, 75 and 30 is 105 and 6 is 111. So 111 plus what is 180? I believe would be 69 degrees. So now I know that one. So I know the blue angle is 69 degrees because um, the interior angles add up to 180. 
So I'll bet on that first problem you did that, and then you use this to find this. You said, oh, look, this blue angle and X are supplementary. So that helps me find that. Those two together make a straight angle, 69 plus whatever X is, which means X would have to be um, 111 degrees. So I would know X equals 111. Uh, because it is sub supplementary with the blue angle. And that's it. So if you were able to find that, that's a great way to find that exterior angle. Find the missing angle of the triangle, and then it's going to make a supplementary angle with that um, exterior angle. Now, I want you to notice something that happened two times in this problem that you may not have caught. Look what happened here. This angle ended up being 111 degrees. But back in my original problem, I also had a 111 degree number come up. Check it. When I added these two numbers up, they ended up being 111. And then when I found the missing angle, it also ended up being 111. So this way of finding this angle was very clear, but I want to show you something new. Notice that this angle we just found, this is the exact same problem, this angle ended up being 111 degrees. And these two angles, the ones separate from it in the triangle, they also added up to 111 degrees. Interesting. I hope you noticed that. And why that matters, that's actually always true for an exterior angle. It's called the exterior angle theorem. This means like a true thing. Truth for triangles is that any exterior angle in a triangle is equal to the sum of the other two interior angles. So basically means this exterior angle is equal to this plus this. Or if I drew more exterior angles on this triangle, like let's say I extended this side and asked you to find y, y would be equal to whatever this plus this are. The reason is it all ends up being 180s, right? This plus this plus this equals 180. And this plus this equals 180. Supplementary angles are 180s and triangles are 180s. So you end up with this theorem that lets you kind of shortcut to the answer. So that means I'm still going. I could have just, if I knew that, you can also use this theorem to shortcut your way to X. You can say, jump right to the answer. You can say, I know X equals 111 degrees because um, of the exterior angle theorem says x is equal to 75 plus 36. It's the two angles away from it. Uh, remember, this one was 69 degrees. That one has nothing to do with it. But we're saying here, like, 69 plus x is 180. We're also saying x plus these is 180, and you end up either way. So that's a shortcut to do those. Um, if you know that. This one's real hard to remember. A lot of our types of angles so far have been real easy to remember because they're real different. Um, this one's harder to remember. So on the page you got, um, this one I'm not asking you to write your own notes. On the page you got, start with me here. Um, let's start by writing in what interior and exterior angles are. So go ahead, if you would, draw any triangle you care to. Doesn't matter which. And so the interior angles are here, here, and here. We call those interior angles. They're the angles you're used to in a triangle. Exterior angles, we have to extend a side. Exterior angles are out there. So that's an exterior angle. Or we could have done that on any other side. They're outside the triangle. Exterior is a 
synonym for outside, interior is a synonym for inside. So those are what interior and exterior angles are, and we're going to be talking about exterior angles today. So uh, unpause when you're ready, and we'll work on this. So here's the, an example that I think you worked at the beginning of class, or it's real close. So method one, the first way to find this missing X angle, you don't have to know anything new. You already have enough information from our past days to figure it out without this new external angles theorem. And I want you to remember that. Remember, there's just multiple ways to do this, but I'd like you to have the newest tools that they help. So without any new knowledge, you can find X. So the first thing you would know is that the missing interior angle is what we have to figure it out. Um, 64 plus 45 plus that missing angle should equal 180 degrees because that's the interior angles of a triangle. So 64 and 45 is 104. This is 109. That's almost 110. So I believe that this would be 71. So the missing angle is 71 degrees because 45 plus 64 plus 71 equals 180. They have to add up inside the triangle for that. Now, if I know this is 71, we can use that to find that. The 71 and X are supplementary angles. So we know that 71 plus X equals 180, which means X would be 109. So X equals 109 because it is supplementary to, or supplementary with uh, the 71 degrees. So that's the way we would have done it before. You don't need any new knowledge of this new theorem. I'm going to teach you to do that. But notice what happened here. On the inside of the triangle, we had 109 and 71. And then when we found this exterior angle, we also had 109 and 71. So notice when we finish this, go to your next example where it says notice that this ended up being 109 degrees. And these two also added up to 109 degrees. It works out the same way, right? 109 plus this equals 180. And this plus that equals 180. You end up with the same thing. It's like solving the same problem for two different reasons. So those equal 109 and that equals 109, which brings us to a last thing we can do. We can use the exterior angles theorem and know very quickly in one step, X equals 64 plus 45 because of that exact reason, the exterior angles theorem. If we did these steps, we would get the same thing either way. These two numbers, if you add them together, are gonna add up to X is what that said. Because what we would end up doing the other way is we would add those up to 180 and then add these up to 180. You're really doing the exact same thing two different times and you'll get the same thing. So major shortcut, if you know that extangle, exterior angles theorem, you can cut this problem in one step. Uh, so that, it, my friends, is exterior angles and how to find them. If you never remember this exterior angles theorem again, you'll probably be fine because you could always just find it this way. Not a real big deal. There's usually other ways to get there, um, but not always. So I needed to show you this today because there are going to be some examples in a future lesson where you have to know this theorem. So getting used to it today um, really helps. Hope this made a lot of sense to, all not, uh, to you now. If not, please give this video another watch. If it did, I will see you next time.